of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us enter, enter into the presence of God in the silence of our hearts. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You sit at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. My almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your wonderful providence have strengthened your church through the confession of the martyrs, St. Augustine Zhao and companions, grant that your people, faithful to the mission entrusted to it, may enjoy ever greater freedom and witness to the truth before the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel set out with all that was his. When he arrived at Beersheba, he offered sacrifices to the God of his father, Isaac. There God, speaking to Israel in a vision by night, called, Jacob, Jacob. He answered, here I am. Then he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for there I will make you a great nation. Not only will I go down to Egypt with you, I will also bring you back here after Joseph has closed your eyes. So Jacob departed from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel put their father and their wives and children on the wagons that Pharaoh had sent for his transport. They took with them their livestock and the possessions they had acquired in the land of Canaan. Thus Jacob and all his descendants migrated to Egypt. His sons and his grandsons, his daughters and his granddaughters, all his descendants he took with him to Egypt. Israel had sent Judah ahead to Joseph so that he might meet him in Goshen. On his arrival in the region of Goshen, Joseph hitched up the horses to his chariot and rode to meet his father Israel in Goshen. As soon as Joseph saw him, he flung himself on his neck and wept a long time in his arms. And Israel said to Joseph, at last I can die, now that I have seen for myself that Joseph is still alive. The word of the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The Lord watches over the lives of the wholehearted. Their inheritance lasts forever. They are not put to shame in an evil time. In days of famine, they have plenty. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. 
Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right, and forsakes not his faithful ones. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you to all truth and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves, so be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in the synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. The word for flower in my language, Vietnamese, is hoa. This means flower. But there's a distinctive way that people use to pronounce that word. Because in my culture, the word hua has two pronunciations. One is hue, and the other one is hua. The reason is, the reason that they use the word hue for hua is that the, the word hua is the name of a king's mother, so to show respect, they, decide, they decided to change the pronunciation just to show respect. But the Catholic, we don't do that. We still use the word hoa. Hence the story of a village, half is Buddhist and half is Catholic, and this is the difference. One, one half use the word hue, and one half use the word hua. I use this story to illustrate how different it is to be Catholic. Because being born in, this, in that culture myself and raised in that culture, and then having my my family is split in the middle as well. On my father's side is fully Catholic, and on my mom's side is fully Buddhist. 
I know distinctively how different it is to be Catholic. It's a very different proposition. We don't think the same way. We don't adhere to some of the rule or regulation of the culture. We don't do some of the things that people truly beholden to. Brothers and sisters, being Catholic is a very radical proposition. Very radical. Just like Jesus is saying in the, in the gospel today, it's scary because being Catholic, we are beholding within ourselves something which makes us different. Being born and raised in, you know, um, a Catholic and hear the gospel day in and day out, it sounds very, very um, ordinary to us. But it's very, very different, very, very scary almost. Because receiving the gospel is just like that. Receiving the gospel allows us to discover something about ourselves that sort at the core of our foundations. Hearing the gospel teaches us to live in a different way altogether. And I would dare to say being Catholic nowadays in this culture feel the same way that I was feeling growing up. Very counter-cultural. Very different. And it has to be that way. Because what Jesus is saying, and, and the martyr experience with their blood, is just that. We live a radical way. We live a radical gospel in our life. Because at the core of everything is an experience of a God who revealed himself on the cross. A God that is so high up high revealed himself in the spot that is so low up low. The God that feel that we need to be saved by the pouring out of his son's blood. A God that feel that we have to receive this revelation, this mystery in our life that allow us to realize that whatever it is in our life makes sense by these revelations. This is such a radical thinking. This is such a power that needed to be appreciated by prayer, by meditation, and by contemplations. Because at the end of the day, being Catholic is to give yourself, is to shed blood figuratively, or in the case of the martyr, physically speaking. This is a, the invitation to give up your life for the message of the gospel, for the revelation of God, for the power of God in our life.
mindful of our need for God in our lives, we bring our prayers before him. For the church and her efforts to make missionary disciples, may God provide for every need in this holy work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all who served in government, may the blessing of God be upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For those who face persecution, may God grant them fortitude and aid in the face of hardships. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For our faith community, may God strengthen each of us on our journey toward him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all those who have died, and especially for Cirillo Valdez, may they have the hope of eternal life, and may God bring them to rest with him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. And let us pause for a moment to lift up to the Lord those special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Almighty Father, hear our prayers that we bring before you through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is it truly right and just? our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, Zhao, Augustine Zhao and companions, 
who out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, 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 the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be pulled out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, his brother Bishop Timothy and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Okay. O oh God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend us, us in battle. battle. Be, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.